Hey guys, got this package in the mail. Wonder what it is. Figure I'd open it with you guys. And the bear. What do you think it is, bear? Oh, hello. Hello, Tins. It's so nice to see you. We got a Bellinger. Big Meat Pete. Vladdy. Judge. Mookie. Another Judge. What else they got? Oh! The goat! Mr. Trout. I think that's it. Six of them. Six different ones. Too bad they didn't have a Tatis in there. Too bad they didn't have a Tatis. Lots of Mookies. All kinds of stuff. What's up guys, today I wanted to share the turkey red tins. These just arrived and let's dissect what they're all about. So there's six different players you can get in the tins as you saw and what they have special is you get 75 cards in one of these. You get one exclusive chrome decades best insert. These are only available in the tins. It's the only way you can get these chrome decades best. You get five turkey reds and you get one guaranteed chrome turkey red card. So that's excellent. What that's gonna do though is it's going to change the numbers in my production video for chromes. I think there's like 3,000 chromes roughly, something like that, that I came up with. Well, there's gonna be more now. I'll try to work on those numbers and see what we can get. Um, let me open this up. I wanted to open it up on camera and just kinda, let's use a bill hook because I like hooking. Get a nice scratch on the tin. That's what that'll do. If you use a bill hook, you'll scratch your tin up. So you don't want to do that. See? Get a little scratch on there. It's a shame. I I make the mistakes so you guys don't have to. All right, let's see what the odds are we got. So these things I imagine are going to be condition sensitive for collectability. You can see up top here, maybe. There's a couple little dents right off the bat. We've got the striker scratch. It's an exclusive one of one. Should I carve one of one in here and then send it to somebody? So you've got your little sensor on the back, of course, and the odds. I'll break down the pack odds uh, and all the odds in a different part of the video. Oh, look at this. There's a special little foam thing. And it holds the pack really nice. These are actually they're better than I thought. I kind of thought that the pack would just be swimming around in there. I like it. I like it already. And this resembles a hanger box pack in the cellophane. But there are more cards in this. There's 67 cards in a hanger box. And there's 75 in one of these. The collectible 10. Let's see what we can come up with here. Are they all flipped around? Of course they're all flipped around. Why? Because Tops doesn't care about us. They only care about making us mad by flipping the cards in every direction. Calm down, Striker. It's not the end of the world. What else do we have? So, a bunch of, bunch of base, as usual. And you end up with a Mike Trout. In every box. Just kidding, but that would be nice, wouldn't it? I love these, these tops choice, but you know that if you've been watching. So we got a little trout swimming around, Mucina. Here's the turkeys, Bogarts, Machado, Kershaw, Boyd, and Lindor. Get a couple of your Reese Hoskins inserts. Thank goodness, because we all wanted a Reese Hoskins. Tater two-step. 
Here's the Chrome Decades Best. Here's the exclusive that we were talking about. And let's get a look at it. Yup, that's a Chrome Decades Best card. Don't know why they chose the Decades Best insert for the Chrome. It would have been sweet if they did the Topps Choice. But, I don't know, maybe it's because there's so many of them, all the different ones. We can maybe f figure out, I I'd like to be able to figure out the production numbers for this, but I don't think there's anything exclusive other than this card. And I'll have to look and see if there are odds for this, but it's got to just be one per 10. We don't know how many 10s there are, though. Kyle Lewis. Rookie. Chrome. What else did we get? We got a Jeremy Jeffries. Gold. And another Trout. Two Trouts per 10. And then a bunch of base. Are we going to get one of the rookies? One of the big four? I think. I think we will. Is he going to be in here? Hopefully get a Yordan. Or a Bo. I like Bo better than Yordan. But I think Yordan will hold more value long term. Because of the power. Bo's got sneaky power too. Don't sleep on Bo. Okay, so that's it. Next part of the video is going to be the value sheet. I'm going to look at the value sheet numbers. Two hours later. So here we have it. Column L over here is the 10. If you guys don't know how the value sheet works, go back a few videos. I broke down 2020 Series 1, and I look at all the different formats, Jumbo Hobby, all the retail, and I break it down uh, into a dollar per format to see what is the best way, the most efficient, cost-efficient way of getting whatever particular insert you're into. So let's look over here at the 10 column. You can see that these cost about 15 bucks. It's 20 cents a card. You get 75 cards in one of these tins. And just a brief overview. Green is good, red is bad, orange is in the middle. So we can see there's a lot of orange over here. It's not the best. The best is the hanger box and the fat pack. I prefer the hanger box because it protects the cards a little bit better. We can scroll down here, look at some of the other things. Let's just look, for example, right here, the Memorial Day. Okay, it's orange, cost you about $3,060 to pull an orange through the tin. And the other retail is pretty similar. The best is through a blaster box, and the worst is through a jumbo box. So it's significantly worse through a jumbo, but everything else, all the retail and hobby is pretty much the same. You can scroll down a little bit more here, and we can find it's not very good at pulling a turkey red green. But the best thing is you get a guaranteed turkey red chrome per tin. So that's excellent. And another thing is you get the exclusive Decades Best Chrome insert. You get one of those per tin as well. So you have to take that into account. And if you're looking to get home run challenge cards, probably don't buy a tin. Because it's going to cost you 150 bucks approximately in tins to come up with a home run challenge card. Now that I have the tins, I can have a more detailed and accurate number for the production of all the different retail formats so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it hook me up with a like and a subscribe ring the bell so you know when i come out with new content and i will catch you guys later